back, the Mexicans have taken over. <laughs> <laughs> and now we must send four children who don't know shit against an <laughs> army of Mexicans. Which, once again, much like the first one, there's a lot of Christian subtext here. And it pops up in really kind of awkward moments, more so than even it did in the original book, where you're like, really? Where they start talking about faith? And what it comes down to is, like, Jesus can't do shit without thousands of people dying first. Well, I didn't I didn't see any of the, the heavy subtext Which at is all. odd, because it's, it wasn't even subtext it was out in front right and right here no, it is. at the end it is very it's very obvious that yeah. it is jesus and if you have faith in jesus don't ask questions why he didn't come at the right time yeah but it, just believe hard enough and he will be there i at gotta some point. wait for lots but, of people to die first which is funny because the snow queen there's a chance where they're like okay you the white witch could come back and if you did it you know she could fix everything you know, like that, just immediately with a single drop of blood. Oh yeah, Tilda Swinton from the previous movie, who was uh, the the White Witch. Yeah, she's she makes a small appearance in this movie. Now, but I'm why, not gonna... why do you have to say it's a small appearance? Because it is a very small appearance. Be- but because it, they're, they're... it's short. Yeah, it's very yeah, short. Yeah, sure, but that's kind of a spoiler that it's short because you don't. Know. I was sitting there going, "Holy crap! Is she actually coming back and becoming a major character in this movie?" Oh, fair enough. But uh, anyway, the point is, is that it's. I wonder if, like, you know, you notice the most secure democratic systems in the world are all in really cold places. You know. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? That was their only trade off. Even in the first movie, you're like, she's not really that bad. She's just really into snow. She just real, yeah, she likes it. She likes it cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, not really sure it's that I bad can, a deal. I can buy a coat, but I'm not going to bring up too much about the religious subtext. Cause, oh, God. Are, I mean, no. Do we have to go into a conversation about how you do Tilda Swinton now? No, what? No, and I'm not doing that. I'm not even gonna go there. I would, but I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> you brought it <laughs> you up. I had to <laughs> say it. Hey, if you were to ask me what I do, yeah, hell yeah. But I'm, I'm, I support Corey doing her because I want to know if th- that's actually a woman or not. I'm not entirely <laughs> convinced. Hey, she's an Academy Award winner. That's all that matters. Um, wh- what I do want to say though, th- it, it is kind of related to the, to the to the Christian subtext, but I'm not gonna even go there. I'm just gonna say that. Aslan in this movie, I, I think as much as I enjoyed the battles in this movie, because I will tell you this, the special effects, that's the biggest highlight to me. These these mythical creatures and animals blended in so flawlessly yeah. with the human actors that that and those battle scenes, I thought that was incredible. That is worth full price alone. It's, uh, it's, they had to get three different companies this time to do it to meet their time schedule. They had to keep hiring animals. other companies because there was so much. There was 1,500 effects in this one and only 800 in the original movie. Yeah. No, I'm looking at these dudes with uh, – they got the, the minotaurs and, and the – and the uh, centaurs walking around, it's, and you think you're gonna see that moment where you, the, the like the body's gonna go a little bit ahead, and the horse body will catch up later. Right, and it's like, right. no, it is, it's all seamless. No, they just got a lot of furries in there. Really. <laughs> all furries <laughs> gonna love this shit, but but no, the uh, Aslan man, I, that story is ridiculously stupid to me because. Aslan don't do shit. I mean, everybody's dying. Aslan just sitting back chilling, ain't doing nothing. Yeah, just, they should have just called him Deuce Ex Machina, not, not Aslan, because that's more. That's all he does. He waits till the last minute, you know, and goes, "Oh, you need some help? Okay, sure." Yeah, there's all these <laughs> cute little creatures dying. And Aslan just did sitting guys, on the sidelines, just just chilling, just looking. Did you guys miss the entire fucking point of that movie? Yeah, it's like a Christian parable. No, we got no, it. no, no. Yeah, no, that's no. exactly what no, it is. No, the whole reason of what Aslan is doing is these main characters have to learn something. And they have to overcome their own flaws to do what they need to do. And if Aslan comes and cleans up after them, if Aslan, as a father, comes in and cleans up all their messes, they will never learn. They have to make their mistakes on their own. And once they learn and once they realize what they've done, then Aslan comes in and goes, okay, now it's time to kick some butt. So at the price of several thousand lives. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. (laughs) But Narnian lives, not human lives. No, it was Narnians and Mexicans. What do you care? This this cute little fun over here got to get his ass whooped just because he wants to Aslan wants Aslan wants to keep god damn it because Peter's got to grown up yeah because because <laughs> but Peter Aslan, is the high no, because, king of Narnia no, no because Aslan wants to teach these kids a lesson all these creatures got to die fuck that man he's he's full of shit Aslan yeah. ain't nothing I think he's a pretty crap they're the guy. great they're the greatest leaders of Narnia Aslan ain't no leader Aslan shows up and don't do a goddamn thing but watch yeah he, I mean <laughs> he just like Aslan's a pimp man he, all these people out there giving their ass up for whatever, and Aslan's just sitting back, just collecting you, you the profit. You guys missed the entire fucking point of the movie. You guys got all wrapped <laughs> up in the Christian thing and missed the whole basic point of the It's film. not even a Christian thing. I Let's just say, with, I'm not even thinking about this in Christian terms. I'm thinking of what does Aslan do? 
besides show up and roar. Yeah, I totally see what you're saying, but I just don't agree with that. I'm like, really? What a fucking jerk. So <laughs> four kids can grow up. He lets all those people I'm die. Not he's a crap I'm not saying God. he's right. I'm saying that's what he did. You, you're, you're acting like it doesn't make any sense. And the, the, I'm saying it doesn't make any sense because it's an absolutely bullshit decision. That doesn't make what well, he's yeah, supposed I to be all knowing and all powerful. Fuck that. I'm going back and worshiping the White Queen. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what I'm saying. White Queen. She, it, I tell you what, the White Queen, at least she's taking care of her people. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> you know, these little dwarves and everything, they ain't got to die for her to take action. Aslan just like, I ain't going to do shit until they learn a lesson. Yeah. Now, so Aslan can kiss my ass, man. Yeah. Aslan. He should have been called assholing because he didn't do nothing but sit back and watch people die. And then he's going to try and act like a hero. Yes, I am badass, aren't I? Other than that, Movie's cool. Yeah. No, actually, I did really, really like this movie. And there's a lot of things that annoyed me here and there. But, you know, it's two hours and 40 minutes long. So there's so much that's good. I was able to to just deal with the stuff that, that annoyed me, which was mainly giant sequences lifted right out of Lord of the Rings. Yeah. You know? I mean, so what would you give the movie? I'd actually give this full price. I, I It really wrapped me up with it. And I was rooting for the heroes. It's uh it's it's pretty badass. It's it's really good. I'm not going to say it's Lord of the Rings good, but it no. is better than the the first one and it is a really entertaining ride. Uh I got to give it full price too. Yeah, as I said, I thought the movie very slow at the beginning, but once it picked up, given that it is two and a half hours, all those battle scenes got me all the way through without noticing the time. And I really think it's a marvel of technology what they're doing with this. So, just for the visuals alone, I would say full price. All right, so I got to ask you guys something. What? What the fuck was all with all the fucking babies at that fucking screening? Oh, my God. How many babies? It was like we- a baby stereo. They just every time you turn around, you know, surround sound babies. I don't know, man. I was noticing the same thing. It was uh, all these babies. Like one baby would cry, get taken out. There was another baby to take his like, place. You yeah, know, it's, it, it, it's like the Hydra of babies. It, now, what was that rat's name? Uh, uh, Dookie Shoe? <laughs> it was Reaper Cheap. Reaper Cheap. Reaper Cheap. Oh. That's what I loved about this movie, man. It had badass mice. Yeah, and they were like, you know, every time someone accused them of being cute, they'd go like cut somebody's like femoral artery, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they would go ape shit. <laughs> What's funny is the main rat is played by, or sorry, mouse is played by Eddie Izzard, who's famous. I love Eddie Izzard. He's famous for being a transvestite comedian, which is funny because he's so good, he doesn't need the gimmick. But still, when he does other stuff, he often sneaks the transvestite thing into the plot somewhere. So I really expected Reaper Cheap to have a dress on at some point. <laughs> or maybe just climb up Prince Caspian's butt or something, you know? Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go there with that, man. <laughs> but no, it's uh, that would be the visual there. Crazy ass psycho mouse with a dress on <laughs> and a sword. <laughs> yeah. Cutting people up. <laughs> Going chainsaw massacre on people, man. <laughs> no, that once I saw that badass mouse, man, I was sold on the movie. So yeah. yeah, no, the mouse adds a lot. Who knew? You know, uh, uh you know, outside of a children's movie, which like I said, this more so than the other is not really. It's more for grown ups. This is a badass little this is a mouse you would not want to fuck with. And he does not like people treating him differently okay so just next time you have a mouse don't talk down to him because that mouse could get up in your oh, face and oh talk, yeah and start some shit yeah he's like <laughs> yeah you, you talking shit about mice but you wouldn't say it in his face would you yeah no you, this ain't the kind of mice you call the orkin man over to kill because the orkin man get his ass whooped yeah even at one point aslan's kind of talking smack he's like what aslan oh it's, it's cool man it's cool <laughs> 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 yeah all right cool x <laughs>